What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it says about 65% of you watching are new. What are you doing? Make sure to subscribe to my channel. We have a great time talking about stocks, investments, and things I'm doing with my investment portfolio. Today I have a really exciting stock to talk about because this week, Joe Biden is set to announce and push out his infrastructure bill. And he's supposed to break it up into two different parts, but this week there's supposed to be the part for infrastructure, specifically for roads and buildings, and also for clean energy and green energy and climate change. So this in particular is in my opinion, going to really benefit a couple of stocks that we've gone over a lot on my channel. One is going to be MP Materials. I think this could really help out MP Materials. But the other one, which I think it's going to have an even ma major impact on, is going to be STPK, Star Peak Energy Transition Corp, and their merger with STEM Inc. So I think this week, Joe Biden, his clean energy bill, the one that's part of the infrastructure plan, is going to be huge for clean energy. And if we're talking about clean energy, well, then STPK and STEM Inc. are definitely companies that, in my opinion, are going to do extremely well with this announcement, which is supposed to come on Wednesday of this week, which is going to be Wednesday, um, I believe, March 31st. And that is, in my opinion, going to have a really big impact on it. So, according to Fox News on Sunday, they said that Biden will unveil his first part of his infrastructure plan, focused specifically on items like rebuilding roads, rebuilding railway, railways, also be focused on fighting climate change. Some of Biden's advisors believe that dividing the package into two different parts, originally it was supposed to be about a $3 trillion bill for infrastructure. That's how much they're planning on spending in total. But they believe that dividing it into two different parts, one for roads and bridges and for clean energy, and the other for um, other parts, that can make it much easier for the bill to actually get passed and get some Republican support. So, my opinion, I think clean energy, Joe Biden, he's been pushing for having um, zero net carbon emissions, also pushing for having electric buses and electric vehicles all throughout the U.S. The only way to have net zero carbon emissions, sustainable energy, solar panels, wind energy, only way you can have more sustainable economy and, um, you know, sustainable energy is by having Star Peak Energy Transition Corp and their technology, um, which is Athena. And right now, their Athena technology is an AI platform that essentially tells um, the energy systems, when to use grid energy versus when to use battery powered energy versus when to use solar panel or wind energy. It tells the system when to use different systems depending on um, like peak energy hours. Let's say more energy has been used at a certain time and they want to switch to using grid energy. Well, then they could do that. If they want to switch because it's off peak hours and they have energy stored up in the system, well, then they can always switch to solar panel. And that is why um, I think STEM Inc. is going to be huge, and especially with this green energy and clean energy bill. Specifically, STEM Inc., they came out, their Twitter is STEM powered. They came out the other day, and on their Twitter, they said advancements in batteries, along with an improved regulatory environment and more investment, could make this decade the roaring 20s for energy storage. In addition to them, um, they've also come out. Chamath, who's a billionaire investor, he's also come out and said that the energy storage market is a multi-trillion dollar industry that is going to make, first of all, he said it's going to make the world's first trillionaire, but also this specific industry he believes is going to explode over the next decade. So according to Power Magazine, they say that it could be the roaring 20s for energy storage. And in their article, they talk about how, um, they talk about how Energy storage, um, be it from batteries, thermal systems, um, mechanical storage, hydrogen production, any type of energy storage. It doesn't matter what it is, what it does. They explain that the need for storage is considered paramount to the electric electrification of transportation and other businesses and continued growth in renewable energy. So basically what they're saying is that analysts are saying the only way we're going to see more renewable energy resources and the economy used more sustainable energy is by having some sort of way to store it because it's no good to have solar panels if 
You only can use it, let's say, during the day when it's sunny out. You need to have a way to store that energy so you can use it at other times when, let's say, the sun isn't out or wind when it isn't windy. How can you store that energy and use it at other times? And that is what they're saying is going to be paramount moving forward. According to the founder and CEO of Salient Energy, which is a Canada-based zinc ion battery manufacturer, they said that the industry is still in its infancy infancy stage. It's still very early on, but with Joe Biden and the administration pushing for more um, sustainable resources, they believe that's going to explode this industry over the next couple of years. And they explain how the increasing favorable regulatory environment for energy storage combined with the evolution of business models that are bringing more capital into the space. That means the 2020s will be a breakout decade for the energy storage sector. So right now, they say, we already are seeing companies like Amazon, Walmart, um, and other major corporations saying they want to be you know, net zero carbon emission companies, or they want to use more sustainable resources. All of those companies already have deals with STEM Inc. and their Athena technology. So in my opinion, I think moving forward, this week is going to be a very big week. We'll have to wait and see what exactly is in Joe Biden's plan, but I think it could cause... Um, STPK, their stock and their merger with STEM Inc. could cause this stock to skyrocket very, very soon. I think we'll easily see this stock reach $100 per share over the next couple of years. We could see it by the end of this year even. Um, They're projecting 4x revenue growth for 2020, and they're projecting to reach about $1 billion in revenue by 2025. So, This company is doing extremely well, and with regulations and whatever the government passes with this bill, could really, really make this company have a major breakout year. And I think this is going to be something very important to keep an eye out on. And I think it could be something that you're definitely going to want to um, check out. And let me know if you guys like the company, STPK. I talk about it a lot. I love this company. I love STEM Inc., their technology with Athena, their AI platform. Um, But let me know what you guys think. I think this is going to be a really big week. Wednesday, you're going to have to keep an eye out on what is in this infrastructure bill. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your four free stocks, each valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.